Okay, for this question then, we're given the root of 4 minus x and told that if we were to use the binomial expansion, we would get this series in ascending powers of x. And we've got to find out this value of k. It's a rational constant. So how do we do this? Well, you should be familiar with the binomial expansion formula. Just as a reminder, if you've got something of the form 1 plus a all raised to the power n, it's identical to this series. The next term would be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times a cubed all over 3 factorial and so on. Now, what I need to do though is get this in this form here where it starts with a 1. So let's just handle that bit first of all. Let's take the square root then of 4 minus x. And we represent this as a power as 4 minus x all to the power half. Now the next thing we do is we pull out the 4 and if we pull out the 4 we end up with 4 times all of 1 minus a quarter x or x over 4 and that's all raised to the power a half. But we can distribute that half in a situation like this where we've got a product of two values. We can put that half across the 4 and also across the bracket there. Now the square root of 4 is 2 so this is just going to be 2 then and now we have got this bracket in the form here 1 plus a to the power n where a is the minus a quarter x or minus x over 4 and the power n is the half. So we just carry on expanding this now using this formula here. So we've got 1 then plus n times a so that's going to be the power a half and that's multiplied by a, a being the minus x over 4. Okay, so that's this term here. And now we're on this final term, which is going to be plus n again, so that's a half. And then we subtract 1 from a half, and that's going to be minus a half. And we multiply it by a squared. In other words, for us in this example, it's minus a quarter x, or minus x over 4, all squared. And it's all divided by 2 factorial. Remember, 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is really just going to end up as 2. And we've got plus and so on. Okay, don't forget that. And just close that bracket on the end there. Okay, so it's just a question now of expanding this out and tidying it up. So 2 times 1 then is 2. We hope that the next term here when multiplied out comes to minus a quarter x. Indeed it does because 2 times a half is 1 and we just get minus x over 4. I'm going to write that though now as minus a quarter x so it starts to look exactly the same as what we've got up here. Now 2 multiplied by 1 over this 2 factorial well, that's just going to cancel out. You're just left now with a half times minus half times minus x over 4 all squared. Well, this is going to be plus x squared over 16. And then you just got to multiply it with negative a quarter here. So that's going to give you minus 1 64th of x squared. Okay, minus 1 64th x squared. And then we've got plus and so on. And I'm just going to finish this off by saying that this is identical then to 2 minus a quarter x plus k times x squared and so on. Where k is that rational constant and that rational constant is minus 1 over 64. Okay, so I hope you're able to follow that.